Hey guys, what's up? As you may know, 3D printing is not perfect. With so many layers going down right on top of each other, there's plenty room for mistakes. Depending on your printer, this manifests as the different artifacts that we fight to avoid in prints. As a result, making parts that are watertight or even airtight are, to say the least, difficult. My friend Angus from Maker's Muse found this as well recently. I'll have his video linked below, but basically he designed and printed a bottle However, it wasn't watertight. He actually made a follow-up to that video where he changed the geometry in order to make the shape hold liquid. But it got me thinking, how can we make prints that are completely 100% watertight and airtight and can even withstand some pressure? Let's find out. A while back I made a video where, to a degree, I achieved this goal through a combination of temperature and fan speed. However, this wasn't perfect and really only worked for small parts. A few videos ago I played with a 2mm diameter nozzle and found that it can create both strong and well bonded layers. Additionally, by having thicker than usual layers, there's less chance of artifacts that prevent it from holding fluid. I wanted to take this video to really flesh out this idea with a few tests. I figured I'd start with a simple one, a cup. It was designed solid so that I could print it in vase mode, which you can learn about from another one of Angus's videos. I printed it with 2mm layer width and 0.5mm layer height and got great results. The cup holds water perfectly well right off the print bed. After that, I printed the original water bottle from Angus's video. It printed very well except for the top. However, this is more of a result of the massive nozzle not being great with small details and quick layers to begin with. This bottle held water just as well with no leakage even after multiple hours of holding. Then I was looking to make something a bit more functional, something involving actual fluid flow. I designed this Y connector and printed it with all the same settings. Since it was vase mode and you can't make uh, holes that are in parallel to the bed, I had to drill holes in the side. After doing that, I connected tubing and once again it worked, conducting the flow of water. Lastly, I made a small teapot of sorts. I had to design it pretty creatively in order to print it in vase mode, but it, like all the others, printed great, which meant it held water and functioned as it should, which was frankly pretty awesome. I did actually print this version with 3mm layer width, proving that really any settings in this general range should work well for making watertight prints. So there's a lot you can do here with a nozzle like this and with water and 3D printing. I've probably only scratched the surface of what you can really do. Anyways, I'll have a link to all the videos mentioned in this video along with where you can find the 2mm nozzle that I used. Let me know what you thought of this video as it was a bit more experimental than what I normally do and uh, leave a comment if you have any thoughts. If you like this video, you should know what to do, and if you want to follow my work into the future, then subscribe. I'll catch you later, XYZ Aiden, out.